Hello and welcome to the Music Empire. My name is Limos Jr. and I wish you a happy new year once again. And in today's lesson, we are coming to take a look at Never Would Have Made It. And this will be our first piano lesson for the year 2023. Yes. And during the new year, on the 1st of January, I, I played the cover of this uh, song. Yeah, like, I, I tried to follow the song as it is, what we commonly call the copyright. Yeah. And if you haven't watched that video, you can check it out. I've left the link in the description below. <clears throat> in today's lesson, I'm coming to look, take a look at the part one. Because this song contains a lot of chords. And I'm not sure I can break down the whole song in one video. So I'm coming to take a look at the part one. And the part one is made up of when Marvin Sap came in with Never Would Have Made It. So when the drama came in. And then if you have listened to the song before or if you watch the cover you will testify to the fact that there was a lot going on there even in that short space so that's what you're coming to take a look at in this lesson so we'll be in the key of c and i believe we all know the scale of c the scale of c is made up of only white keys so c is the one d is the two e is the three f is your four g is your five a is your six and then b is your seven them to the C which is your one again and uh, this section of the song contains a lot of passing chords right right after Marvin Sapp said never would have made it the chords started flowing like this uh, I think uh, yeah then Here's where I think the the, the the drama started coming in with their high hat. So uh Everybody joined and then uh, uh, so yeah, so that's where everybody joined and then it continued. So uh, yeah, so yeah, that's where everybody joined and then it continued, right? So uh, This song contains a lot of passing chords. So let's start without wasting much time. So it really started from the seven to the three to the six. Okay, which is um so on the seven. What I have on my left hand is the B and the E flat. And what I have on my right hand is the A, D, F. Okay. Yeah. So an E seventh chord so I have the E and then the D on my left hand and on my right hand I have the A flat B and E so yeah now you can throw in this passing chord which is the flat C or flat six right which is the A flat and then I have the 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 A flat diminished seventh chord which is uh, we have the A flat over here so now I could have added the B to it to make it a full diminished seventh chord. But it's already a full, a full diminished seventh chord. So I have the D, the F, the A flat, B, and D on my right hand. So this is what I have. So to the six. So I have there's a six on my left hand, and on my right hand I have the E, G, A, C. 
so right after you heard the never would have made it these chords followed yeah it's a perfect 736 passing chord now he even threw in the flat six as well so anytime you want to do a 736 right then he was doing extra passing chords for It was something like that, right? So, we have already dealt with this chord. We are just taking away this D note, which is forming our melody, right? We are taking it away, so... To the sixth, I think we have done the sixth as well. So, it's like, uh, it's going back and forth. So, from the flat six to the six again, then to the seven. Or so you can do this. I have the I have the G major chord on my right hand, which is the D G B G over the seven bass notes. So then to the one, then so from I, I go to my regular one, which is the C C major chord itself, to a two, which is a D ninth chord. So I have the D and then the C being played by my being played by my left hand. And then on my right hand, I have the E, F sharp, E, C. So, all you can do, see, then you hit this five chord, right, which is the G and D. It's a G minor seventh chord. So, you have the G, G, and the D, and then you have the F, D flat, D, F. So, So this is how passing chords that you can add to your ass now. And and you can clearly see from basically from here. Now you could have waited and then gone to the uh, five to the one to the four straight away. But look at what how he did it. So uh, then he filled it with this chord. So it's basically uh by going to the six uh to the six, you could have waited and gone to the two, then to the five, then to the one, to the four. That's how we all understand what our circle of four, right? So when he go to the six, he threw in more passing chords by going back to the flat six. So yeah. So what I mean is, instead of just playing the basic regular circle of four by uh, from the six, then go to your two, five, one, four. He went to the six, and then he did this to fill in those pieces. And so, so these are those are the chords that we have learned right now. Then on the one, I had this. Okay, so this is what I have on the five. It's a five one, right? Five one. So on the five. This is the chord we have. We have uh, uh, F, A, B flat, D. It's basically the same. Just at this time, I've taken away the B flat on my right hand. So the left hand and the right hand are almost the same, with the exception of the B flat on my right hand. So, yeah, and then this is just a regular one, regular C major. So this is basically a C tritone on my left hand. See, this is a C bass note. This is a C tritone by playing the third and the flat seven. Okay, and then I have there's a C the C first inversion on my right hand. So, so this is the power of a tritone just by omitting the, the bass note and then replacing it with this tritone. Look at the sound you produce instead of this. See the difference? Listen to this one. And I listen to this. The tritone is, is coming out with a unique atmosphere on its own. Yeah, so. You see. And then he did something here, still on the four. Like, while whilst waiting on the four to get to the next progression, he did. Uh, and then to the three, he did. So on the four. Four, that's what I have. On my left hand, I have the. F major seventh chord, which is the F, E, C, E. 
and then uh, I just have the C major seven chord on my right hand, which is what the C E G. But the but the interesting thing going on here is this grace note. So I, I will start from the D note, and then with with my index finger, and then I will play the E flat note with my long finger and slide it down to the E. So so I have to watch this carefully. So in the beginning it looks like a C source two. Then I'll take away the D notes. So yeah. So think of it as playing the C source two. And then I'll quickly take away the D notes. And then play the E flats down to the E. So, so try it and then Okay. So uh And then he continues to do this lick. Oh, this, more, this, this sounds more like a blues lick. Yeah. So it's still on the same C sus two chord. Just play the E flat note. Then, and then climb down. So from the E flat down to the D to the C, and then uh, to your A to the G. So by doing it very fast, it will sound like this. This lick is over this chord on my left hand, the E minor seventh chord, which is the E, G, B, and D. Yeah. So then the six. Right from the three. Go to the six. Then play this. So start from the six. And this is uh, on my left. I have the A and then the E, and on my right hand I have the G diminished seventh chord, which is the G D flat C sharp or D flat and E. So yeah, so that that little movement over there, they were all diminished seventh chord. So this is the first chord, and the sixth, the second one will be on the seven or on the B bass note. Which is the B diminished seventh chord. So they are all diminished seventh chords. Yeah. So you have the B diminished seventh chord, which is the B D on my left hand, and then my right hand has the F A flat B D. So yeah. Then this is the C sharp and. E on my left hand, then my right hand is still playing the G, G diminished seventh chord. So we have, then we will just add this last note to it to create another chord, right? So we'll first of all, play this G diminished seventh chord with the C sharp and the E on our left hand. Then we add the G notes to it as a melody note, and then play it again as a new chord. So. Uh, so it's like two chords, right? This is the first one. This is the second one. The left hand is the same, so. So in all it will be a uh, two or two. Yeah, this two is a very beautiful two. I have the D, E, F on my left hand, and I have the A, C, D, F on my right hand. So Which is um, E D over a C major chord into this movement. Right, so. So these are all passing chords. So you can just take it from the F major chord and then move it up to the G major chord and then to A minor chord. Then so six, seven, one. Now there's an A augmented seven sharp ninth chord. What I have on my left hand is the A and then the C sharp. 
what I have on my right hand is actually a quarter, which is the G, C, F. Now, all of this is over the 6. You play the same thing over the 7. So on the 7, I have the B, and then the E flat. And this time I have the A, D, G. So, right, so, then your regular C major chord. Then you come and do this. And what I have here is, uh, I think we have done this chord. We played this chord over the three, right? Do you remember? Yeah. So we have this same chord on our left hand, and then the right hand is just playing uh, the C major chord by combining two inversions. So I have the second inversion and the root chord. So that's all. That makes up for this chord, and it sounds very rich. These are not your know, regular types of chords that you normally hear in very simple and basic songs. So never would have made it it's an advanced song. Just this small bar. A lot of chords have been played. So then it comes again to the six then. Two. Yeah. So just a Seven to the three to the six. We have already done this. Now he played a certain two here. No, I think I I added this two to the song. The, this two wasn't part of the song. I added it. I love this two very well. So very much. So let's see this two. Um, I just have the two, or you can play the two over here and then add your flat five to it. And then on my right hand I have the one or the C E A flat and then B. Right, and then I like doing this just to approach the F sharp note. So, sorry, uh, the two chord to the five. We have done this, then he went to the three, then six. When the drama comes in, that's when we will start our part two. The part two starts from when the drama comes in. So, uh, When the part two will come in so take your time and then digest the part one there's a lot of passing chords in the part one that we have learned and i know it will really be a blessing to you in this first week of january and uh, i'm sure by the time the part two will come you would have gone through this part one so that the part two will be added and then it will make things very easy for all of us okay so god bless you so much i hope you had a good time uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and like i said in the first video 2023 is really filled with a lot of blessings for you and i yes so please subscribe and click on the notification icon if you haven't and let's continue in our next lesson